Gastronome, as you may know, I'm online. You know, give us a like and subscribe if you like these videos we're doing. I'm making a baguette style grilled cheese, uh, kind of a love letter to some of my favorite Italian things. We got scamorza, uh, very similar, almost exactly the same thing as uh, smoked cacio cavallo, which is a great cheese. You still more sometimes see it hanging on the barbecues in Italy, and you kind of scrape the bottom of it, and it melts into vegetables. Fantastic melted cheese. You got some cotacino, house made, and you get the nice and crispy cotacino is. An Italian skin sausage. Sounds weird, but it's got a little bit of skin in there that we kind of poach in milk and then we uh, roll it into sausage and we like slow cook it and it gets so crispy and so it does. It's like uh, chicharrones or uh, pork rinds inside of sausage. They get crispy and puffy and just fantastic. Some more terra bread baguettes available in our store. Nice pickles, capers, and some spicy tomato jam. And of course, gotta have butter for a, a grilled cheese. First thing I'm gonna do is take my half baguette, throw it in the toaster oven, get it nice and hot. I want just to kind of crisp up the outside, it'll refresh it. So what, what kind of meat is this again? This is pork, and it's a sausage that we make using uh, fresh ground chuck from the pork, which is the, the shoulder. That looks nice few chunks, and then we have little pieces of skin that we fine grind into it, that we poach the skin in milk for a long time. Flavored with garlic, a little nutmeg. Does it have to be cooked, or is it edible? It's already cooked right now. If you want to try a piece, you come around the camera and give it a taste. I use this a lot in dishes. I have a dish I used to do in restaurants, it's called Skin on Skin, and it was pork rinds, cottuccino, pickled uh, mirepoix, and uh, lentils, and I serve it all together with some nice, like, you know, local vegetables. It's sort of like, even though it's not head cheese, I, a lot of people in Italy, this is almost like an Italian style head cheese. It is not head cheese, it's just good pork shoulder, a little bit of pork skin. And everyone loves crackling. This is just having crackling inside of a sausage. I'm not gonna try and turn it too early. I really want to make sure it's seared up enough that I don't tear it. Like I said, working with a cast iron is not the best seasoned. Uh, we'll go in a video eventually about how to like season the cast iron, make sure it's all nice and non-stick for you. You can kind of see it get in there. Just how crispy that is already getting there. Yeah, get it nice and crispy. Put on the plate. Pickles, smoked cheese. We'll start cutting up here in a little bit. Capers, real simple. Lots of butter. Nice olive oil. Yeah, just a beautiful smoky cheese. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. You kind of smell, I know people at home can't smell it. It has those nice Christmas kind of smells to it already. Yeah, it smells like depression. It smells like gingerbread. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of the nutmeg in there. All right, baguette's nice and toasted. You kind of hear it. You can't hear it crunch, it's not a toasted baguette. We're gonna open it up. I'm gonna get the butter. As long as you hit the inside of the sandwich with the aioli, or mayo that Chris made earlier. It's one of those things that a lot of people don't have in Canada very often, but it's like when it's an Italian, like, I just love it. <laughs> a couple of capers. Kind of like a little salty pocket when you get to it. The butter in this pan. We're gonna toast the sandwich up on both sides. It's all nice and contained. I might have to cut off a nubbin to fit in this pan. That's so good. It's hard to describe the texture though. Like I said, this is not gonna be like an ooey gooey sandwich. At its base, this is basically just a cheese, pickles, and pork sandwich. I mean, Chris, you're, you're a foodie. Does like, the skin sausage sound weird to you? I've had blood sausage, so no. That's true. A little, a little salty poo. It's really pressing the sandwich down. I don't want to press it too much right away because I don't want to force everything out of it. It's also this big S. I, when I make Cubanos at home, mm -hmm. sometimes they use these breads. I know it's not traditional Cubano bread, but man. Oh, we got to do a Cubano. Yeah, we, well, we'll need to do start to finish. I want to do the mojo pork and the hard for you to My experience with the Cubanos is all related to the movie Chef. Is it? I mean, it's a good recipe. I still wouldn't call that very traditional, though. Uh, a lot of what they do on that show is uh, from the amazing, what's his name, Chef Lee? Yeah. And uh, he's a Korean chef from San Francisco, and fantastic chef, but definitely he brings a lot of his fusion. fusion to it. Which is nothing wrong with I mean, that guy's whole career is made on fusion food trucks and amazing. Mm. Way better chef than I could ever hope to be. What do you think, Chris? I mean, that sounds good. 
five minutes later. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, look at that. That wasn't that regular. Very good for me. All right. That's very hot though. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. That's really good. It's crisp on the inside, crisp on the outside, but that soft pillowy cheese. Scamorgia. Scamorgia, baby. Oh, get back in there, baby. Lighter than I thought it was going to be. Compared to the steak sandwich, which, which we had in our previous video, oopsie, um, this is uh, very much has a lot more complexity, but it's not as kick in your face. Like, mm. demand attention, there's so much heat and full body flavor. This is nice and. Yeah. No, no, that's fantastic. Well, this has been uh, Backroom Butcher. What, what, what would you call this sandwich again? Ooh, what would I call this sandwich? Oh, you're the name guy, you're the writer. They got Cotachino, they get Scamorgia. Smorkatoja. 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 Smorkaborg. I have been Chris for Pith Gastronome with William Miller. And you can't have any of this. We can make it at home. <laughs>